Now that we have our single chain, I want to try to have that go around our curve that we made to create the chain on the bike. I'm going to scale this down a little bit, shift select the curve, and then I'm going to switch to the animation menu set, constraint, motion path, attach to motion path. Great. Now I want to make sure that I'm in something other than modeling standard, like maybe Maya Classic, and that will show me a timeline down here where I can hit play, and I can see that our object now travels along the curve. Okay, awesome. So if I rewind to the beginning, and if I look at this, I can see that this is the history on this object. And if I go to the top on motion path, I can go to up twist, middle mouse drag, or set that to 90. And now I can see that it's orientated in the correct way. And if I hit play, there it goes. Okay, that's a good start. Now if I go to the animation menu set, and if I go to visualize, I can say create animation snapshot. And if I do that, here's the default settings, and I'll just hit snapshot. Okay, what that did was, if we look at the settings here, it said from frame 1 to 10, so here's frame 1, here's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It created a duplication of that on each one of those frames. Now obviously that doesn't make much sense, um, so I'm going to select one of these, press up, and hit delete. Okay. What I want is I want that snapshot to go all the way around the curve. So I can say my end time is 120. Looking at my timeline, I can see that it goes from frame 1 to 120. So I'm going to put that to 120. And now I'm going to hit snapshot. Okay, I've got to select this object. And then hit apply. And okay, there we go. So I can see that that object went all the way around like that. And I can see that it's kind of bunching up at the beginning and the end. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second, but I can see that I think every frame is too much. So I'm going to undo that. And what if I said the increment would be every five frames? Now I can see that, well, what it's doing is every fifth frame, it's duplicating it and giving us a, a copy. Okay. I can see that in the beginning, it's very clear to see that it's moving slower and then it's picking up full speed here. That's why those are farther apart. And then as it gets to the end, it starts to slow down again. So what I want to do is I need to make it even spacing throughout the whole thing. So if I go into, once again, the animation menu set and on the window, animation editor, graph editor, um, once again, I need the single link to be selected, the original one. I can see that it is easing in and easing out. Okay, once again, if I, th if I think of this as a sledding hill, I think it's easy to kind of visualize this, that um, I would start kind of slow, and then I'd be super fast, and then I would kind of slow out. Okay, so that's kind of the speed of which this is moving. And if I set that to linear... I can see that now it's even spacing throughout the whole thing because it's going at a constant time. And I can see how that affected things. So that's a good start, but obviously the chains are too far away. So I'm going to change this increment to, let's say, 2. And before I do that, I'm going to delete the other ones that I already have. So I'm going to select this one press the up arrow and hit delete. Okay, now I'm back to my original. And with this, I'm going to have it go from frame 1 to 120. And I'm going to have increment of 2. Ah, yes, that looks much better. Okay. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Yes, there is some overlapping going on, but I think not bad. Um, I think that's going to be acceptable for what we want. So I think that we are in good shape for our chain.